Philippine Air Force bought F-8 Crusader. In late 1977, the Philippine government purchased 35 second-hand U.S. Navy F-8Hs that were stored at Davis Monthan AFB in Arizona. 25 of them were refurbished by Vought and the remaining 10 were used for spare parts. As part of the deal, the U.S would train Philippine pilots in using the TF-8A, they were mostly used for intercepting Soviet bombers, the F-8s were grounded in 1988, and were finally withdrawn from service in 1991 after they were badly damaged by the Mount Pinatubo eruption, and have since been offered for sale as scrap. The Vought F-8 Crusader, originally F-8U, was a single-engine, supersonic, carrier-based air superiority jet aircraft, too, built by Vought for the United States Navy and the U.S. Marine Corps, replacing the Vought F-7U Cutlass. After the Navy's disappointing experience with the F-7U, the F-8U was referred to by some as Vought's last chance. The first F-8 prototype was ready for flight in February 1955 and was the last American fighter with guns as the primary weapon, principally serving in the Vietnam War. 3. The RF-8 Crusader was a photo reconnaissance development and operated longer in U.S. service than any of the fighter versions. RF-8s played a crucial role in the Cuban Missile Crisis, providing essential low-level photographs impossible to acquire by other means. U.S. Naval Reserve units continued to operate the RF-8 until 1987. F-8U-1 Crusader Buno 141,435 and Commander Duke Windsor depart China Lake for a successful speed record attempt the 21st of August 1956. F-8 pilots insignia in September 1952, United States Navy announced a requirement for a new fighter. It was to have a top speed of Mach 1.2 at 30,000 feet 9 meters, with a climb rate of 25,000 feet per minute 127.0 meters per second, and a landing speed of no more than 100 miles per hour 160 kilometers per hour. Korean War experience had demonstrated that 0.50 inch 12.7 millimeters machine guns were no longer sufficient and as the result the new fighter was to carry a 20 millimeters 0.79 in cannon. In response, the Vought team led by John Russell Clark created the V-383 unusual for a fighter. The aircraft had a high-mounted wing which necessitated the use of a fuselage-mounted short and light landing gear. The most innovative aspect of the design was the variable incidence wing which pivoted by 7 degrees out of the fuselage on takeoff and landing, not to be confused with variable sweep wing. This afforded increased lift due to a greater angle of attack without compromising forward visibility because the fuselage stayed level. Simultaneously, the lift was augmented by leading edge slats drooping by 25 degrees and inboard flaps extending to 30 degrees. The rest of the aircraft took advantage of contemporary aerodynamic innovations with area-rolled fuselage, all-moving stabilators, dog-tooth notching at the wing folds for improved yaw stability, and liberal use of titanium in the airframe. Power came from the Pratt & Whitney J57 after burning turbojet. The armament, as specified by the Navy, consisted primarily of four 20mm in autocannon. The Crusader happened to be the last U.S. fighter designed with guns as its primary weapon. They were supplemented with a retractable tray with 32 unguided MK4, MK40 folding fin aerial rocket, Mighty Mouse FFARs and cheek pylons for two guided AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles. 4. Vought also presented a tactical reconnaissance version of the aircraft called the V-382. Major competition came from the Grumman F-11 Tiger, the upgraded twin-engine McDonnell F-3 HD Min, which would eventually become the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II, and lastly, the North American F-100 Super Sabre hastily adapted to carrier use and dubbed the Super Fury.
In May 1953, the Vought design was declared a winner and in June, Vought received an order for three XF-8U1 prototypes, after adoption of the Unified Designation System in September 1962, the F-8U became the F-8. The first prototype flew on 25 March 1955 with John Conrad at the controls. The aircraft exceeded the speed of sound during its maiden flight. The development was so trouble-free that the second prototype, along with the first production F-8U-1, flew on the same day, the 30th of September 1955. On the 4th of April 1956, the F-8U-1 performed its first catapult launch from USS Forrestal. Crusader 3 in parallel with the F-8U-1s and minus 2s. The Crusader design team was also working on a larger aircraft with ever greater performance, internally designated as the V-401. Although the Vought XF-8U-3 Crusader 3 was externally similar to the Crusader and sharing with it such design elements as the variable incidence wing, the new fighter was significantly larger and shared few components. Operational History 2 Crusaders prepare to launch from USS Midway, their variable incidence wings are in the up position. Prototype XF-8U-1s were evaluated by VX-3 beginning in late 1956, with few problems noted. Weapons development was conducted at Naval Air Weapons Station China Lake in a China Lake F-8U-1 set a U.S. National speed record in August 1956. Commander, Duke, Windsor set, broke, and set a new level flight speed record of 1,015.428 miles per hour, 1,634.173 kilometers per hour, on the 21st of August 1956 beating the previous record of 822 miles per hour, 1,323 kilometers per hour, set by USAF F-100, however, the world speed record of 1,132 miles per hour, 1,822 kilometers per hour, set by the British ferry Delta II, on the 10th of March 1956, was not broken. An early F-8U-1 was modified as a photo reconnaissance aircraft, becoming the first F-8U-1P. Subsequently, the RF-8A equipped with cameras rather than guns and missiles. On 16 July 1957, Major John H. Glenn, Jr., USMC, completed the first supersonic transcontinental flight in F-8U-1P, flying from Nas Los Alamitos, California to Floyd Bennett Field, New York in 3 hours, 23 minutes and 8.3 seconds. First Fleet Operators the first fleet squadron to fly the Crusader was VF-32 at Nas Cecil Field, Florida, in 1957, deploying to the Mediterranean late that year on USS Saratoga. VF-32 renamed the squadron the Swordsman in keeping with the Crusader theme. The Pacific Fleet received the first Crusaders at Nas Moffett Field in Northern California and the VF-154 Grand Slammers, named in honor of the new 1,000 miles per hour jets and subsequently renamed the Black Knights began their F-8 operations. Later in 1957, in San Diego VMF-122 accepted the first Marine Corps Crusaders. In 1962, the Defense Department standardized the military aircraft designations generally along air force lines. Consequently, the F-8U became the F-8, with the original F-8U-1 redesignated F-8A. Thanks for watching and hearing about this latest military news. Video is just an illustration and hope you enjoy it.